guys uh, today. I'm showing you how to rebuild one of these Rost steering columns. So what I did is I just used a snap-on bearing splitter and took my wheel off. And for your Ford guys, for the Ford LGT guys, yeah, there's a complete one there. I slid this. I don't know if you guys can see it. What I did is you actually can slip it right through the bottom through here without taking anything apart. On this one I took the whole front dash off and then I realized we could just slip it out. So just save you guys from the hassle. So first step is to take uh, these off. I already pre-loosened them. Take those off. This way you can pull this arm out. Mine was pretty loose. It was like wiggling back and forth like this. It was already coming apart. So this is inside right now. Pretty gross. I did get some new uh, heavy duty Lucas bearing grease. Now be very careful here. There's a bunch of uh, bearings and stuff. I just take this out. You push on your shaft. Get these to come out. You have your cup. Then you have your first set of bearings. Like so. I like to put them back. Then take your shaft out. Then you have another one right here. This one slides towards the top, like so. And that's it. So what I'm doing now is I'm just getting my new bearings in. I put it in, repacked it. I also put the new cup and put a bunch of uh, grease on that as well. There we go. So that one's in. So now I'm just going to take my new bearings. This is what's nice when they're new. Oops. That looks like that. I'm going to slide them over the shaft. I'm going to put a little bit of grease. Put my new cup. Put my new cup in. Put more grease so I know it doesn't move. So my spacer sticks, I'm just going to put a little bit of grease. There it is, all back together. I'm still waiting on uh, the Super uh, Cupcat S Super Steer thrust bearings. I got them from uh, KirkEngines.com. Um, he's a really nice guy, ships up to Canada, so helps out a lot. Yeah. But uh, so I'm waiting for that to put, to put it back in. But even now, this is uh, there's no more play in the arms, and the steering's nice and tight. So well worth well worth the 40 bucks to uh, upgrade your steering column. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments about uh, my rebuild, if I did anything wrong, because I don't have a manual, please uh, leave it in the question section and uh, I'll make sure I get back to you. And I'll also put in the description links to uh, all the sites where I get all my parts from.
Make sure you like or share, subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye.